Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be recreating some TikTok viral DIYs for Halloween that are all from the Dollar Tree, so it's super affordable. If this is your first time here on my channel, welcome. My name is Alexis Celine. I post beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, so make sure to subscribe down below. And also tap the bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the first one. It is this cute little ghost macrame. Um, I'm going to go ahead and roll the clip to show you what it looks like. So first you're going to need a crescent shape cardboard at least eight inches is what he used it's not the best shape but it will work also you need some nautical rope and you're gonna need some black belts this one is just a little craft kit from the halloween section oh also you're gonna need a hot glue gun go ahead and open up the nautical rope you take the first rope and fold it into four like so and put it on the outer edge of the cardboard and then the second rope he said to fold it into five honestly i think you can just do that one in four as well because the cardboard isn't that big um so i'm just gonna kind of even tight together to make sure there's no gaps got everything situated it's not like the same length but it will do i think it's a little bit shorter than his so i'm gonna go ahead and start hot gluing this down this is what it's looking like so far i'm gonna go ahead and trim this off this is what it looks like with the edges trimmed it's super cute coming along so i'm gonna go ahead and glue on the eyes and mouth and just a little fyi i'm not the best at cutting a circle and it's a little hard with these scissors got the two little eyes i'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this down I'm just gonna press this down here and glue this as well. Then the little mouth. My little macrame ghost is all done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a love it. It is so adorable. There's the little ghost. I went ahead and unraveled some of them. I feel like it just makes it look fuller. So adorable. This project is so easy to recreate and it's super affordable. I am obsessed. Such a cute little ghost. Let's go ahead and move on to the second one. I'm gonna make this pumpkin wreath. Go ahead and roll the clip so you can see what I'm talking about. You're gonna need some flocked pumpkin garland. The circle wreath. This is a bigger one. They did have a smaller one as well. This is the 18 inch one. Some of these little tiny clothespins. And then I also picked up these little ribbons. Alright, so we have all the garland here. I'm go ahead and start removing them from the string. I got all the pumpkins removed and it's time to start hot gluing the little clips to the pumpkins. I'll glue them to the center of the bottom of the pumpkin. Put a little bit of hot glue right here. And then place the little clothespin. I started measuring out how many pumpkins I would need for the center ring. And I feel like I might be low on pumpkins. I only got three packs. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add these three rows right here. I had a little difficulty with getting them to stay. So I just kind of really secured the little ties that they had and also added some hot glue into the center but this one the ones on the side i'm gonna kind of angle them so this one can be kind of centered just added this one dead center and then kind of angle these on the sides and now i'm gonna add the pumpkins all around it for the wreath i purchased three packs of the pumpkin garland and in the video the creator didn't specify how many she bought you're gonna need at least five packets of the garland to fill up this 18 inch wreath if you do get this one rather than the small one maybe even six if you don't do the bows like i did so i went ahead and got three more bags of the garland I'll go ahead and start adding the pumpkins into the center ring I went 
ahead and glued them all together because they were just kind of rotating when I was adding each one on with the clothespins. So I still have a lot of clothespins on, but mostly all of them have clothespins and then some hot glue to secure them together just to make sure there's not that many gaps between them and they're not moving all over so the wreath is finally done i'm gonna go ahead and show you it definitely was a lot harder than i expected this is what it looks like oh i love the little bows i feel like it adds cute little detail to it so there we are all right so this next project is super simple and easy go ahead and roll the clip very easy to recreate, you're gonna need the jar from wool pasta or whatever you have, some pack of eyeball, black paint, I picked this up at Dollar Tree, and a little brush. I'll go ahead and paint the cap first to let that dry and then move on to the other steps. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting this top just so that it has time to dry while I do all the other steps. gonna take my jar and add the eyeball stick. I'm just gonna kind of move these around so that they're facing outwards. All you're gonna do is add some water to the jar. And then I'm gonna add some black paint to the rest of the water that I have in the cup. You're just going to add this mixture. And this is what it looks like. Really spooky and cute. Very simple and easy to do. Really love it. You can definitely add some ribbon or anything to it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We're going to be doing this cute little candle with the skeleton in it. What you're going to need is some skeletons. Now, I could not find the skeletons that she used. Anyways, I went to four different Dollar Trees on different occasions and I just could not find them. So I am had to settle for these. Then I picked this bowl. It's really pretty. And I'm also going to add some little lashes. Just going to go ahead and hot glue gun the skeleton down. I just went ahead and removed the legs. Going to glue it here. I went ahead and cut the little feet off. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue them like this. Kind of like crisscross. Like so. Really cute. Next, I'm going to make a little towel for the skeleton's head. I'm going to add some lashes. I think I'm going to trim a little bit. All right, so this is what the little skeleton candle looks like. I love the little lashes and the little um, towel on the head. And this pattern on this bowl is super cute. Um, so yeah, we have a little skeleton. Moving on to the last project, we're going to be doing this light up ghost. It's super cute, very easy, and I'm going to go ahead and try to recreate it. So you're just going to need a vase. A mop head, a little witch hat, some lights. You could use these little lights or you can use LED candles, whatever you prefer. Some felt for the eyes and mouth as well. Let's go ahead and get into this one. Go ahead and hot glued it down there in the bottom. I'm gonna hot glue this last little piece so it doesn't fall out. All right, so we just have a little mop head like this and we're just gonna go spread it all out and it's gonna lay like this on top so i'm just gonna add some hot glue here to the bottom of the base just to secure the mop head sure i'm gonna hold it in place this one will actually work since it's not hollow within it so thankfully i got this little decor piece it's just a little ghost and i'm gonna try to pull this off this hat to repurpose it this is what it looks like it looks quite cuter with this little hat i'm gonna repurpose this little bow here it was from this little hat here i'm gonna place it in the center of this ribbon just to add a little detail to it but before i do that i'm gonna go ahead and add some glue here to the rim of this Broom so it doesn't move. A little glue here. Like that. 
that's super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the eyes and mouth. I'm just doing that off camera. It's super simple. I'm just using this belt here and cutting off the little eyes and all that. I got my eyes and mouth cut out, so I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue those down. The light up ghost is all done. Go ahead and show you what it looks like. Look how cute this is. I love it. So adorable. This one was super easy to recreate. Really love the little details of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my ring light just to show you what it looks like without this bright light on. This is what it looks like without my ring light. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comments of which a DIY project was your favorite from today's video. I'm going to have to go with the light up ghost, the mop ghost. That's like my all time favorite. I really love how it looks and it turned out. So I'm definitely going to be making another one. Also, if you've come this far and you are not yet subscribed, please go ahead and consider subscribing down below. It is free. And also, don't forget to tap the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload another video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more and until next time, bye.